guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we have that very promised video that we've been talking about for a couple weeks now. I have Greg with me today, and he is our male hygienist who's going to give you guys all that information I wasn't able to give you. So I'm really excited about this. Thank you so much for doing this. And well, you're welcome. Let's, uh, let's get going. Okay. So first question, um, what made you want to be a dental hygienist? Well, or how did you get into it? I guess I, I did this work in a, when I was in the Air Force. Okay. I was in the Air Force from uh, 1971 to 75, and I was a I was a dental assistant for a couple of years. Got accepted to this program uh, when I was stationed in Cheyenne. Nice. And the, the program's down in uh, Wichita Falls, Texas. Okay. So I was able to go down there and finish the program, and then it was a lot of what they used to call in the military, OJT, on the job training. You know, you did a yeah. lot of stuff and and it was pretty it was pretty hard in the military. I was seeing like fourteen patients every day. I've done and, that. That's and, not and, easy. And, uh, it's very hard on the body. Yeah. And and it was uh, you you had no broken appointments or anything like that right. because that was, I was considered a mandatory formation. Mm -hmm. If you didn't show up, you either had to be out of out of country or dead. <laughs> they didn't take any uh, excuses, and so um, so your day was pretty full. Mm -hmm. And um, and then usually a couple days we would have children. You know, oh, really? We would just they do little, families in. Yeah, we just do a little polishing and then put fluoride on their teeth. Yeah. And so when I got into the hygiene program, I, I just I, I really enjoy working with people. Mm -hmm. It was it was kind of fun and and um, you have to. They're sitting in your lap. So. Right. <laughs> and I you know I just I'm a pretty talkative guy. You mm -hmm. know I like to I like to I like to get to know my patients. I went to the um, uh, midwinter meeting once. Oh yeah. Met met some ladies from the from the hygiene school here at the University of Colorado. And that that got me going. And I had a friend who was a dentist that I was we were hanging around with each other. We were buddies, and he was kind of pushing me out of the military to go to school. Uh -huh. And and that's why I wanted. I wanted to get my degree. And and then when I got in, uh, got all my prerequisites out of the way, I got accepted to see you. And nice. It was. Uh, it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so how many years has it been then? Well, I graduated in 80. Okay. So if you count a couple of years of my military experience, you know, it's been 39, 40 years, something like that. So you've seen a lot of changes in dental hygiene oh, at that time. A lot of changes. In dentistry in general, really. But right. yeah, I mean, we've gone digital. We've got, I mean, we were going digital when I was in school. You know, simple things like sterilization. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I remember when my dentist didn't wear gloves. Right. I didn't wear... I started wearing gloves when I got... Um, when I got into private practice and, and went to a course and they were talking about um, hepatitis. Yeah. So I started, I started wearing gloves. And, and I, then and AIDS I, came along. Yeah. And, and I always like wore masks. masks. And, yeah. yeah. 1983, I went to a, um, a lecture at the Columbine Imperial Study Club. My first doctor I worked with was a periodontist. Mm -hmm. And he wanted me to go to these four meetings yeah. every year. And we got to hear some of the world's renowned periodontists nice. and we had some really great periodontists in, in the city of Denver but that's when um, I remember um, he was a doctor from New York and he kept saying he goes guys there's something out there killing my gay patients mm. hmm. and he starts showing slides of this massive bone loss in yeah. some of these guys that and just and the big mouth sores oh, and all this right. stuff. Just, I worked in an AIDS clinic in, just in high terrible. school. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, and, wow. <laughs> and you go back and you would see you see these guys doing these uh, lectures and, and you'll see a bare finger yeah. you know, and holding a slide or something like that back in the day. Yep. That all stopped. Yeah. And then in about a six or eight months everybody was gloving up. Yeah. And and, and, and we finally figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah, it's been. Um, I just, I just thought it was great. I, I got to work with people, and and it's it's been it's been fun. So you have to be a people person. That's right. <laughs> and you have to be really talkative. <laughs> yeah, you gotta like, you gotta enjoy people. You know, you gotta. Yeah. Even the honorary ones, because you will have people that are just grumpy when they oh, come yeah. in, and sometimes it's fun to 
to me, it's a game to right. try and get them smiling right. by the time right. they leave. You know, and, and, and you have to take care of them. Yeah. You know, they're... They become family. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I've, I've worked on people for... Unfortunately, she passed away, but she, I had worked on her for 34 years. Wow. And, and I got people here that I've worked for a long time. And, yeah. and, uh, and so it's, you get, it's like seeing a, a friend every six months. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, there are people I, I look at the schedule and go, oh, yes, yeah, I, no, you know, and exactly. you, you kind of pick up your conversation where you left off last time. How was your last vacation? How's right, your dog doing? Right, right, right. Last time your mom was sick, how's yeah, she, yeah. you know? And it's just, yeah, it's fun. And people kind of expect that too. That and hairdressing are the two places where people really bond with their people that's right, that they're that's working right. on them. You know, and, and, you know, not tooting my horn, but there's people that just only want to see me. Oh, yeah. and, 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 and We all get that. Yeah. And, and it's, and it's, <laughs> yeah. uh, other, it's a compliment. I'm sure you know? some of the other girls have that same. Yeah. Thing, you know, we put flags, you know. Uh, I work with one other girl, yeah. and there are people that only want to see her, and yeah. that's fine. And there's sure. people that only want to see me, and she's totally okay with that. And that's just that's how what it you goes. call bonding. Yes. Yeah. You know, and then there's people we can pass on, you know, off, and we go, hey, yeah. guess who's coming in? It's your yeah. turn this yeah. time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but cool. that's that's probably the most important thing is that you you get you, you know if you if you want to be grumpy, then I think you need to go find some other kind of profession. Yeah, go work at a cubicle. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have yeah. to deal with people. Exactly, exactly. Because, yeah. you know, you may not always be feeling great mm-hmm. in the, in the, during the day. Oh, and, yeah. And, and, and some you of these, have to hide it. Some of these patients really that good. I've worked on for years, they'll, they'll, they will know if something's wrong with you. Oh, yeah. They'll ask you, okay, what's the matter with you? Yeah. Well, this morning I was running behind, and for the first time in 12 years, I ended up going to work without any makeup on. And my patient's like, are you feeling okay? I was like, yeah, I just don't have any makeup on yet. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, they, but they do. They pick up on those that stuff. They go, you know, you don't, you don't look so good. What's going on? Historically, why do you think hygiene has been kind of a women's career? Well, you know, I think it's just like the nursing career, you know, the nursing profession. You know, it's predominantly female. Mm-hmm. And, and, uh. You know. I think it's kind of a historical thing too, sure. where the the hygienist was kind of a, like a nurse for right, dentistry, right, right? And that was just kind of a woman's role back in the day. A lot of times it was caretakers. Her, so. A lot of times it was uh, his wife or something like uh-huh. that. Yeah. And and, uh, and and it was just that's how it was, and or you know, or they would bring in a nurse, you know, right, and it did right, start out right, being right. a nurse, and then it turned into and, something uh, else. And, but it's funny in the military that it was they were all guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, most of the, especially in the Air Force, most of the uh, assistants were, were males. Yeah. And, and um, again, there were three guys in my class, and I've lost track of them, so I hope they're still doing hygiene. As with male nurses, I think we need more men in hygiene as well as we need more sure. men in nursing. nursing sure. Especially nursing, because you're doing all that lifting and nursing is a tough muscles. It's a tough field. And, it's very tough. My mom's a nurse. It's a very and tough you field. You've uh, been exposed to some male nurses, and I think they're great. Yeah. You I've know, got some I friends that are male they, nurses. They're fantastic. They do, so. they do very well. Okay, so do you feel that dental hygiene is sexist towards men because there aren't many men in hygiene? Like, have you ever run across a time where you were interviewed and you feel like you lost a job because you were a man or you, you patients treat you differently because you're a guy? You know, at, at, the, at the beginning, maybe a little bit. Um, you know, I... Um, because it's still kind of rare, not as yeah. rare as when you started, right, right, but it's right. still kind of rare. And some of the some of the docs I I've worked with, um, like the the periodontist, he uh, and he you know he he was uh, from the old old school, mm-hmm. and you know always wore a coat and tie to the office, uh-huh. and and, uh, and and you go you go to lectures, he expected you to put a coat and tie on. Yeah, yeah. He mentioned to me one day, he says, "God, Greg." He goes, I won't ever have to worry about you getting pregnant. And that's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And, and that's and one thing they're not allowed legally to ask us. Yeah, right, um, right. But and that is, I imagine, a fear because yeah. I have a friend who's actually a dentist in Canada and they have to pay for, I don't remember what it was, it was like six months of leave or something Ooh. for her, you know, every time she has a kid. And he goes, she's had two, <laughs> I'm going broke. And I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know? I know. But yeah, it's something they don't have to worry about. I, I got lucky and got a position I wanted pretty fast. That's good. And and uh, it was downtown, and I, I I had been going to school downtown, 
working downtown, you know, waiting tables when I was in school. So I'd, I liked the downtown area at the time, and then he, he'd always been a, a downtown doc, and so it was fun. And, uh, and like I said earlier, he, he was a, a, a perfect person for a young hygienist coming out of school because mm -hmm. he, he was a very good teacher. He taught you things. He taught you this. He taught you that. Why did you do it this way? That's good because you don't find that very often where the dentist is actually willing to teach you stuff. I currently have a boss that's that way. Yeah. Um, previously, though, my bosses have not been. It's just, here's your corner, do your thing, yeah, make yeah. me my money. Yeah, you know? right, and, right, right. And that's fine as long as they're leaving me alone and they're not making me push product or something. I'm right. okay with that. But I, um, I had a couple incidents when I was in school because I was the only male in, in my program. And, and um, they would put me in with the dentist in the, the locker room. Mm -hmm. Where, where we changed and everything, and there were a couple of the, couple of the dentists that, you know, I probably say something once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Let's just it's like I said, it's rare. Like yeah. when I'm if I'm in a a CE course and I see a guy in there, I do automatically assume he's a dentist. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I And I thought about that today. I went, you know, I was in a really great class in January called Lip Zip, uh, at the convention here in in Denver, and there were quite a few guys in there and. It never dawned on me that maybe some of those guys were hygienists, you know, yeah, and yeah. just because I'm not used to working with them. Well, there was a guy behind me in the next class, and then I think there was another guy behind him. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't put multiple guys. It was such a small class. Yeah. You know, only 16, but they wouldn't put multiple. But, Which is too uh, bad you kind of need each other. Yeah. We liked having the three guys in our class. Yeah. That the testosterone versus the estrogen, it helped. <laughs> it really did. It's all female teachers. All female students. Yeah. It's just a little too much estrogen, honestly. Some yeah. days. <laughs> it was. Uh, I was. I was for it. I had some good classmates. There were. There were some wonderful ladies. Good. And uh, they. They. They took care of me. And oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so, but uh, Susan, I, I got to be friends with some of the guys, and we would. They would invite me to their study group, and. Nice. And uh, so I wasn't always with the girls, and. Mm -hmm. A guy is looking at, at, at this as a profession. Um, you got to understand, you know, it may not look like it's a it's a it's a tough job, but you ask hygienists has been doing it for a few years and how tough it we, is. We all look like this. <laughs> uh, it's 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 demanding. Uh huh. Um, it's mentally demanding right, too. Right. Right. Exactly. A lot. Physically, a lot of it is you're working puzzles in your head all day and. You know, it's just, it's a yeah, it's a hard. But job. you know, it's it's a step toward, you know, if you if you get into hygiene and and, and you really like it, you know, it's a it's a way to maybe go to dental school. Mm -hmm. or, you know, it's 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 a great profession. You you know, um, the pays pretty well. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, uh, it does. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, and and you. Uh, the hours are good. The hours are good. You know, a lot of times you don't. You know, a lot of times you're working. You know, three, four days a week, you know. Yeah. Which is considered really full time yeah. in dentistry, which yeah. is cool. Yeah. Um so you don't take your work home with you typically, you exactly. know. I mean occasionally I'd have to wait and do charts the next day, but yeah. it's you know, usually when you walk out the door you're done. Which you're is done. Nice. Take the, I never get called in for emergency cleanings exactly. on the holidays. Exactly. <laughs> Kinda of talked about do you ever get any reactions from patients because you're male? If you have like a new patient walk in and, and they go well, You know, I've had I've had patients uh, Early in my career, not want to see me because I was a male, because they thought I was going to be too rough. Yes, yeah, I think that would probably be the one thing people would assume yeah. is because you're stronger naturally, yeah. you're going to be harder on the mouth. But and, and that's not true. And so, yeah, I just don't think it. You know, I just think the, the it's the roughness that mm -hmm. they 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 think it's what well, you, you're just going to be very rough on them and. Which, if they'd known me as a child, they wouldn't want me cleaning their teeth because I was a rough kid. So. <laughs> My mom was always going, be gentle, be gentle, be gentle. <laughs> so it worked. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm very gentle now. I guess anything else you would like to add? You know, I, I, I just have enjoyed it as, as a profession. You know, I'm kind of... Would you like to see more men doing it? I would. I don't know. I, I, I feel real comfortable doing it. I, I, That's I, a good, stable career. Yeah, it know? is. And, and, and you get with, with some real good doctors and you can make it a, a, 
you know, a lasting career. That mm -hmm. To be in some something for forty years, you you've got to like it. Right. And I, 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 but it, to me, it all it it all goes back to the patience and and. Um, yeah, they keep you coming back. There yeah. are days I really only go in for the yeah. patients. Yeah. Um, the staff is you know, you're predominantly working with female. Right. And so you always have to kind of stay out of the little pettiness that goes on. They don't believe me that there's pettiness when you get a bunch of women together, oh, but man. oh man, guys. It's especially, I don't know if it's, it's just worse especially a dental with office. Women but... than it is with guys. Oh, tons, yeah. You know, I'd you, much rather work in an office with all men. I just I just made it a point not to get involved yeah. in that. I just you know, somebody starts talking trashing somebody, I just say, nah, I'm not gonna get in and I walk right. away and, yep. and uh, don't take sides, so just you, exactly. Don't take sides. I'm here to do my work and be free here for my patients. I'm not here for the drama. That's right. It could be it could be a wonderful career mm -hmm. for somebody. Well, I'm know. glad to hear somebody say that. You know, yeah. a guy say that. I think yeah. that's great. So. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have changed it unless Steinbrenner would have called me for to play third base for the Yankees. There you uh, go. Could have could have done that. Right. <laughs> that would have been all right. <laughs> okay, <whatever. laughs> uh, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, any any final thoughts? No, I think we've covered. It. I think we covered it. Yeah. All right. It's been. Uh, well, thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Yeah, that was, yeah. I was really looking forward to doing this, and you know, it's been a if, lot you ever, fun. if you ever have a a guy who's interested in trying to get into the field, you know, stop by the office. And, uh, All right. Yeah. So if you're in Denver, we'll go have know? a beer together. Or exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Exactly. Talk it's it just, over. Uh, and or come and shadow. That's really the best thing. Sure, is just, sure. just come in. All right. Well, as you can see, we are definitely talkers. We're done. The, you know, hygienists <laughs> are definitely talkers. So um, anyway, like and subscribe. If you guys have any comments, please leave them below. And uh, check me out on Instagram, Life, Be Life Beyond the Floss. And uh, thank you again, Greg. This has been just well, you're awesome. Welcome. Thank you. And, it's yeah. been very nice. So. <laughs> Take care. Bye, guys. Bye.